was a very important city for Mozart. It was a very meaningful city for Mozart because the two years uh, that he spent here, or a little bit less than two years that he spent here, he used some of that to get over the death of his mother. And he also used some of that time. It was a period of time where he was able to emancipate somehow from his father's careful supervision. So this was a really meaningful city for him in the way that I think he really became an adult emotionally and musically. I mean, Mannheim is a city that obviously um, still has remnants of Mozart's presence everywhere. Um, the places he performed over the years, um, places he lived, and this orchestra was built upon this history. Um, and Mozart is one of their main um, standard repertoires that they do very often and very well. So it was not a question for me to um, um, wonder whether I should work with them or not. I really wanted to. The thing that I really love about Mozart is that, you know, he's the seemingly energetic, eternally lovable, full of emotions, full of life, full of party. Um, but at the same time, he also had great hardships in his life. That probably came a lot from the fact that he always had a strict father. and. As anyone, he went through sadness, um, tough times, anger, um, all of those emotions, but somehow he was able to process it in a way that was all beautified. And these concertos that were composed, um, I think more or less all around the same time, um, they really convey who he is, how, how playful he is, all of the emotions that are there, but without any aggression, but only with real beauty, just, just the way he saw life. And that's why I really, really love his concertos, particularly the third and the fifth one. Um, so that's why I decided to record these two. The cadenzas that I'm playing for the third and the fifth concerto that I'm recording are composed by Raymond Leppard, a British conductor and composer. And um, he wrote them for violinist Cho Liang Lin, who I studied with. And after he recorded them many years ago, um, he had the chance to be able to edit them and to publish them. And I got them just in time for my recording project this time. So I'm very happy and honored to be playing something that is also connected to someone that had a huge musical influence on me. We decided to um, carry on this project without a conductor. Mainly because I think when these concertos were written, they were written, Mozart wrote them for himself because he was a fantastic violinist as well. Um, so he wrote them to lead the orchestra while playing the solo part. And the orchestration for both of the concertos um, are quite small. So in a way, it's more an intimate chamber music experience with the orchestra and I guess you could say a soloist. Um, I think it could be very well um, played from the concertmaster's chair as well. So in that sense, I think um, the musicians and myself, we have much more flexibility, we have much more communication and dialogue, and it's, um, it's a very intimate experience. Um, we really get to know each other well, I think.
This was a really wonderful process for me because the musicians of the orchestra were extremely welcoming. They were very eager to try any ideas that I had. They were also very active in giving me ideas and inspiration. The rehearsal was actually a very relaxed, creative um, atmosphere in the recording process as well. So um, we really looked forward to recording um, the CD after um, we had our rehearsals.